Podgo has a mono or stereo looper that you can control with either all six foot switches or with a single foot switch. In mono, you get up to 80 seconds loop time and in stereo, up to 40 seconds. So try recording a loop with one preset and then overdubbing with a different preset. Podgo has a mono or stereo effects loop for incorporating other effects pedals or running an amp in four cable method. The loop can be assigned to a foot switch or program to come in as part of a preset or snapshot. Or you could go old school and simply use the pedal's own foot switch. <laughs> The amp out jack can tap off a signal before the cab or IR and send it to a traditional guitar amp. The main outputs then send the signal with the cab model to the front of house or console. A traditional amp already has a speaker so there's no need to add unnecessary modelling to it. But the audience do need to hear a cabinet model or impulse response through the PA system. This method is going to give you the best of both worlds. Podgo can load up to 128 third-party impulse responses. This gives you an almost endless supply of different cabinet models to choose from, each with different speaker types and microphones. And these can be purchased from Line 6 Marketplace or a number of other websites. <laughs> So, those are a few of my favourite features in Podgo, and I hope they're of interest to you. As always, thank you very much for watching. Thanks.